welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni and today we are gonna do a true talks with Yanni to be the second true talks that I do on my channel and the last one I did was last month it's probably gonna be like a monthly video that I'm gonna do just because True talks are a little bit more in depth, a little bit more in tune with my feelings and things like that. So today's true talks is going to be about moving. So if you're interested in hearing my opinions, my thoughts, um, kind of what I'm going through right now um, in my life, then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, grab your brushes, your makeup, because we are gonna also put this into like a get ready with me and keep on watching okay before I start talking we are going to drink mm. love this let's get on with our makeup I'm going to start out with my brows you guys already know that but yeah moving so I am currently moving a family of seven five children and two adults and we are going to be moving down to West Palm Beach in about three and a half weeks. So it is crunch time and I have, um, I shouldn't say I don't have anything packed because we do have a ton of stuff packed from when we moved three years ago um, that was in storage. So that is all ready to be packed, but I don't have anything that's packed that we use on an everyday basis. So like, we are going to start packing anything that we don't use on an everyday basis. But for me, quite honestly, I'm like, well, if we don't use it on an everyday basis, then why do we have it? Like, why? You know, there's a lot of stuff that I do need to go through and throw away because I'm one that I am not a hoarder. I am constantly purging my clothes, my shoes, accessories, makeup, um, the kids' clothes. I'm constantly, constantly purging it because they're growing, they are changing, they need new stuff. So why not get rid of stuff? Why am I holding on to stuff? I do have important stuff like important papers, important things from school. I do have like keepsakes from each one of them when they were babies. Those little things, yes. But even that, I'm kind of down. So I am all about having open spaces. I hate not having open spaces. My husband is the complete opposite. If he sees an open space, he's like, I gotta fill it. I think that's what happens in his head. He's like, I gotta fill that space, I gotta fill that space. Like there can never be an open space because he somehow finds something to put into that space. I don't like that. I don't like clutter, I don't like hoarding, I don't like a lot of stuff. Like I said, I can do without all of that. Him, not so much. Trying to move a family of seven, by yourself basically because like I said my husband comes every two weeks he had to come this week because we had an emergency with my car he's actually coming next week because he's gonna be taking four days off my seven-year-old's birthday is on the 29th so he was already planning to come for that and then this all came about so he is gonna start moving some stuff down there and then he will be back a couple weeks after which will be my last day at work would be the 13th of March and then that's it we have to move everything we have to be out of where we're living right now by April 1st because that's the notice that we gave so we really have a lot of crunch time to like really start packing like a bunch a bunch of stuff and I just find that with like I said a big family you have just so much stuff we have so much stuff and I'm just like, we need to downsize on so many things. There's just so much stuff that we need to get rid of. So yeah, so that's where we're at at the moment. I mean, the easiest things to try is I've been telling him to move the things that we have already packed, but he keeps dragging his feet, which is kind of irritating when I'm over on this side trying to figure out what to do. And I'm like, okay, how can I get this done? How can I get this done? Meanwhile, he's over there just like going to work and coming home, going to work and coming home. And it's just like, I'm left over here with five kids to pack, you know, and then he wants it to be where when he comes, everything's ready to go. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Situations end up happening all the time. Like this week alone, our children, two of them got sick. So I haven't had a chance to really pack because I've been tending to babies who were throwing up and had diarrhea and 24 hour fever. It's just been crazy. So 
Yeah, I have a lot to deal with on this side. I'm not saying that he doesn't have a lot to deal with, but I have a lot more. Plus, I'm still trying to keep the kids on like their regular schedules. They have school, they have appointments. You know, I have been the one trying to make um, appointments before they leave, get their school stuff together. You know, he doesn't see all of the stuff that I do on this side. You know, he just ex kind of like realizes, oh, she's gonna do it and that's it. Like I guess expect it to be done. And I'm like, well, you know, it doesn't happen magically. I have stuff that I have to do. I'm a planner. I have to know what I'm doing. I have to kind of have like an idea of what I'm doing. And I don't know, it's just, I just feel like it's been kind of crazy lately. I wish he can understand what I'm going through, but you know, me not knowing so many things and me not having like a guaranteed place to live and things like that, like that bothers me. It, it puts me, it makes it stressful for me because I have to, you know, it's not like it's just me and him. If it was me and him, I could care less. I have five children that I need to, to have settled. I need, you know, we need place to stay for them, you know, because of school, because of doctors, because of, you know, just everything. You should, you know, realize that we really need to be more urgent about our things. We can't just be like, well, it'll happen when it happens. No, we don't have that flexibility. Um, we really do need to figure this out. It's just, I have just so many mixed feelings about this move. Like I am so excited about the move, about a new experience, new place. Um, I am all for that. And I am just like, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be awesome, you know? This is what we are looking for. This is what we have been wanting, you know? I did not want to be in the area where we live right now. I just think that it's not for me. It's not for my family. I just, it just wasn't for us. Um, and it's not wrong, it's just not for us and or it wasn't for me and i just i knew that there was something more somewhere else that we were supposed to be um i just felt it and um it's just you know it is what it is and now we are moving and i am excited and i can't wait for our new chapter to like happen and stuff and part of me you know is happy and excited but also you know really weary of just stuff like I want a lot of stuff between um, us to change um, you know to get better between the kids and I between my husband and I between my husband and the kids I just feel like we do have to like fix a ton of things that's happened, you know, from the last year and a few months. Um, there's just a lot of growing that we all have to do and a lot of changing and I'm open to change and I'm open to all that. So that's, that's nice. But I know my husband is not really about change and about that kind of stuff. So I'm interested as to see how he is going to deal with a lot of the stuff because Boy, are we going to change. There's going to be just a lot of change happening. I just really want him to be more involved in that aspect of, you know, being there and raising the kids. Because I feel like it's always just me. Like, everybody knows that mom is, like, the final say and everything. And I'm just like, I get it. I'm the final say in certain things. But what if I don't want to be the final say? What if I don't want to have to be the one to make all the decisions? And it's just... It's a lot of pressure. I feel like I'm always under a crazy amount of, of pressure. I basically am right now a single parent. You know, I'm the one that has to be there for the kids and like anything happens, it's me. They get sick, like today I have both the kids here with me. Um, you know, it's, it's hard for me. Yesterday I had work and I had to call out because, you know, my three year old was running 103 fever. And the daycare was like, uh-huh, you need to come pick up your kid. 
within 30 minutes and I was on my way to work already and I'm like oh my god great great you know I'm I'm excited for this new chapter I really I can't express how excited I am because I want my husband to step up more as a dad not to say that he wasn't doing but he was focusing more on the finances and about you know just financially providing and things like that but I want him to know that he also has to contribute to the nurturing so I'm excited about this move it's gonna put us all in new airspace I want to say like just kind of really really figuring us out so yeah like I tell you I'm not this is the thing where I work in these type of situations with like a sense of urgency because to me this is urgent you know we need a place to stay we need a place to live we have children and at that we have small children just poked the shit out of my eye it bothers me it just makes me very very like irritated and upset and I just that's all I gotta say um but yeah I am just like why isn't he as worried as I am and it's not about being worried per se because I know everything is gonna work out my problem is that I, I need to know that for sure we're gonna have a place within the next couple weeks that you know for sure we're gonna be um, moving into a place I don't want to have to live in somebody else's house for a long period of time and I know that he doesn't want to have to do that I really do wish that the roles were reversed and he can um, handle what I am handling um, I just I'm just curious as to seeing how he would go about handling the situations that I'm handling and the things that is going on you know on this side um, I'm just really interested as to how he would be reacting and things like that stuff like that so it's just a lot of stuff that <sighs> moving has like created mind you I am experienced with it but this is also a really big move with new jobs new city unexplored cities and things like that so that's why I feel like more pressure and I just want everything to go really smoothly so I went off camera did a wing liner with the Maybelline um, gel liner I'm still learning how to work with it um, it's, it's not my favorite I like gel liners but for me it's just so difficult nonetheless we are still playing with makeup um, but yeah I mean it is just hard for me right now and the kids they want to move they're like just dying to move like if they could move tomorrow they'd be gone and part of me is like we need to get there I need to get them there at least a week before because my last day is technically the same last day um, of the kids school spring break but, and that's up here because of spring break down in West Palm Beach is actually the week after. And I wanted to get them all registered and everything in the school before they come back from spring break. And we're going to be off school for like two and a half weeks, um, which is crazy. But nonetheless, that's what I am attempting to get done. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen. It is what it is. Um, I can only try my very best so I just want this move to like hurry up and happen because I feel like once everything is settled it'll be a lot better everybody is gonna have a fresh start everybody is just gonna be better um, at least that's how I'm taking it and that's how I've been staying positive and just kind of going with it I just feel like yeah you know we are gonna do this 
we should be fine, you know. And um, I just want us to be back together and and work from there. I'm hoping that this all works out. I have a lot of positivity in my my heart. I'm thinking that this is going to be the best for us. I knew for the longest time, like I said, that this was not the place that we were going to be ending at. I knew there was more for us. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to open doors for all of us, for my sons, you know, bigger opportunities, better opportunities um, for them and for us as a family. So yeah, I mean, I'm so excited. Like part of me is so excited, but also part of me is like super duper nervous. I've been trying my best to just kind of wing life. I left it in God's hands and he has definitely delivered some good stuff. So I just can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Um, I know that it's going to be all good stuff, definitely. This move is just the beginning of so much more that's going to be in store for my family. I'm just so excited. And I want to try to vlog when we move and like the whole packing process and unpacking process, but... I don't know if that's going to be doable. Like I said, I have a family of like <laughs> seven. So I would like that. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would like to see. Um, because we are going to be definitely um, not really doing anything to the house that we're going to be living in once we get a house. Because we did say that we're going to rent the house for at least a year maybe two because we are going to definitely move into buying a house down there so that's exciting all right so yeah the kids they can't wait to move they want to just be with their dad which i can totally understand because you know they miss him and you know part of me misses him too because that was my support that was my help if i needed a few minutes if i needed to go you know just breathe he, he can just go ahead and stay with the kids while I stepped out for like an hour or something. And it wasn't like to go have drinks and to go this. It's just I needed to take a drive. I needed to just get myself back in order. And I feel like I'm a better parent when I do have just some me time. And like I said, it doesn't need to be like a whole day, a whole weekend. Just a couple hours um, just to like free my mind you know you can't have your mind running all the time because you're just going to be miserable if you're thinking about your bills your pay your job is irritating you you know all that kind of stuff then you're just going to rub that off on your kids so that's why i feel like moving is going to be great because we're all going to have a fresh start and um it's something that we have been talking about for like the last four or five years. So yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you can only do but so much. And, you know, you take it as you go. I've learned that so much in the last year. Like you are not, I am superwoman. Don't get it wrong. Come correct. I am superwoman because every woman is superwoman. But I have definitely been put to the test this year it's just been super duper emotional i've been seeing this trend on pinterest and on youtube well not necessarily youtube but pinterest instagram tiktok a little bit 
and I just think it's like spring vibes and I'm over this whole winter fall thing I think spring needs to come with a bang take this for a small little flat brush brochetta And I'm gonna go into this color. It's like a green, more of a green. This is like a blue green, but whatever. Very nice. Hmm. Very pretty. I like that a lot. That just made me happy. <laughs> okay, so back to the conversation that we're having. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm happy. I know that I'm going to give it about a year and see where we're at and see you know how things have changed how things have progressed if in fact it's progressed and go from there as i said we're gonna rent for a year you know gotta give the place a chance and then you know we'll see we shall see what happens and um you know it's just it's a lot just trying to move in general imagine trying to move a family of five <laughs> you don't even understand like that is just some crazy ass shit like why why would you do this why would you do this Yanni but you know what we're moving on to bigger and better things and that's how I keep saying it to myself like bigger and better bigger and better this is for the best we knew that this was gonna be for the best you know we definitely want to, to progress and just be out there in our fields and I think this will be the best way you know and that's that now we are going to have a better life where we're going so yeah spray my face and I haven't used this in forever mm. I love this spray. So, use these lipsticks and lip liners in so long I definitely gotta look into my collection because there's a ton of good stuff man this is the final look say hi hi <laughs> that completes this Yanni's true talks or true talks with Yanni and yeah I mean moving is gonna be super duper hard for us and but we're excited right right you're excited <laughs> super excited to move and start our new adventure our new life i want to say because that's exactly what we're going to be starting right you're going to be in a new school and you're going to be with daddy down in west palm beach yeah nina, nina down deep. yes nina's down there too <laughs> so that completes this video please like this video if you um, just enjoyed getting ready with me and kind of hearing me 
just rant about some stuff about moving because I am just starting the process because we will be out of here in about three and a half weeks. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and the support. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. You know the drill. I upload three videos a week. Please hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. And right. I will see you guys soon. I'm going to try to pre-record some videos. Who knows if that's going to happen because we will be packing a bunch of stuff. But And I'm also going to try to vlog a little bit. It's a little bit. But yeah. Again, thanks so much. And I will see all you beauties in my next video. Bye.